Good news for Binance as well as for Poland as they have now received regulatory approval to be able to provide crypto services in Poland. This according to an article from Watcher Guru, which I'll have a link to this down in the description below. Where to go through this article, I'll share my thoughts and my opinions on this at the end of the video. I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Everything I'm sharing is my own opinion. It's my own research. I highly encourage you to go do your own research. With that being said, let's go ahead and dive on into the news. Binance has established its name and user base around the world. Global regulators have undoubtedly become more interested in cryptocurrencies as their popularity has risen. International cryptocurrency exchanges are securing operating permits from regulatory bodies in a number of nations. Regulatory approval is also being given for these exchanges by forward-thinking nations so they can flourish there. 2023 is providing is proving to be a great beginning for Binance as it recently obtained regulatory approval in Sweden on January 11th. Now, according to the details of an official announcement, the global exchange has been granted a virtual asset provider license in Poland. Binance can provide its crypto services in Poland. Binance can now operate and provide services in Poland and is fully compliant with the local regulatory standards for virtual asset service providers in the country. Quote, we welcome the initiatives of the Polish government towards regulation. Working together with regular regulators globally, we can ensure that consumers are protected while continuing to cultivate innovation and progress. Quote, and we at Binance continue improving our security systems and following the strictest KYC requirements in the industry, which enhances the safety of all our users, the exchange stated in the announcement. With the new approval, Pol Poland has been added to the list of the growing number of EU member states that have provided approval for the exchange. The registration in Poland is additionally followed by the exchange's registration in Sweden, France, Italy, Lithuania, Spain, Cyprus, and Poland. So there we go, guys. That is definitely good news as far as looking at the adoption rate of cryptocurrency. If you guys are supporters of cryptocurrency, which is why I'm assuming you're watching my videos here, you got to look at this and say, hey, more people now have access to it. More people have the ability to buy. More people technically have the ability to sell also. But there's less of that stress of, oh, is it okay if I actually try to go here, if I try to do this, etc. Poland is saying, look, guys, you have an avenue. You can go through these guys. And Binance is saying, hey, look, we went through the proper channel. We got the actual registrations appropriate for this, and we are following all levels of regulation. And understand this, guys. Every country has their own sets of laws. And for Binance to look at every single one of them and say, okay, what do you need in order for us to be able to provide these services here? Okay, that's what you need, and this is what we need to file, and this is what we need to provide. Okay, and then they're taking the time and the effort, and they're actually going through this. So, so in that regards, there's a lot of respect that's being built for Binance because they are trying to show that they are compliant with every different location that they go through instead of just trying to be like, oh, we're going to launch it, and then until they say no, like, we're, we're, we're um, just going to keep doing what we're doing. <laughs> now, they've had some issues in the past. Don't get me wrong. But as it is right now, with everything that happened last year, I think that what Binance is doing at this point in time is the correct set of steps, and they, they are indeed moving in the right direction. So what do you guys think? Do you guys think that we're now going to be seeing even more of these other big-named exchanges following suit? And what I mean by that is that they're going to be targeting these specific locations like Poland, for example, and saying, hey, we're going to go through the registrations. We want to make sure that we're accessible over in your country as well. And it's going to just make it look like a normal thing because you've got a variety of options. Instead of it just being that first mover coming in, people sort of testing the waters there. Oh, I'm not sure if I really want to get involved with crypto. Is it okay? Oh, I just heard something bad in the news. Maybe we should remove that one trading platform, right? If you make it a social norm, then the whole idea of trying to ban crypto trading, it, it kind of goes out the window. And as what we were hearing earlier today with the uh, DOJ over here in the United States, it sounds like the United States is trying to make it more user-friendly. But 
allowing people to still partake in that crypto industry space. So that in itself is good news, and this is also good news, and hopefully I have even more good news to share with you as the upcoming days and weeks and months go on for 2023. So let us know what your guys' thoughts are about this down in the comments below. Again, I'm not a financial advisor, guys. Would love to hear your thoughts. Thank you so much to my Patreon supporters. A double shout out thank you to WeLoveSafeman.com, Victor Vegas, Safeman Oz for being higher level patrons. Also, a huge shout out thank you to my YouTube members for your support. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit subscribe, hit the thumbs up like button. God bless, and we will see you in the next episode.